Hi everyone and welcome back to the S&P Saga, your weekly recap of the S&P 500 index. Tech giants took a beating this week and dragged the index down with them. We'll reveal the winners and losers that drove 74% of the index performance and which companies will announce earnings next week. As usual, don't forget to subscribe to understand how individual stocks impact the S&P 500. Let's jump right into this week's review. The S&P 500 closed the week at 5,728.80, down 1.4% from last week and losing $489 billion of market cap. The P-E ratio, based on current price and latest earnings, stands at 29.22, down 0.44 points since last week. Let's go to your gainers. Amazon is up $106 billion, or 5.4%, following the company's better-than-expected earnings and guidance report. Alphabet, up $74.1 billion, or 3.6%, as the company reported better-than-expected Q3 earnings. Abvi is up $27.9 billion, or 8.4%, after the company also reported better than expected earnings and announcing a 1.4 billion acquisition. Visa up 17.9 billion or 3.2% thanks to better than expected earnings for its Q3 results. Booking Holdings up 11.4 billion or 7.8% as the company beat earnings expectation on strong travel demand. Abbott Laboratories up 7.5 billion or 3.8% after securing a legal win related to its baby formula products. Comcast up 7.4 billion or 4.6% as the company announced a possible spin off of its cable business. Altria is up 7.1 billion or 8.3% after posting better than expected Q3 results on robust demand for vapes and nicotine pouches. Garmin is up 6.9 billion or 22% as the company raised its profit guidance on strong demand for wearable devices. Cadence Design Systems up 6.8 billion or 9.6% after announcing an increased profit forecast on growing AI chips demand. Moving on to your losers, Nvidia is down 151.4 billion or 4.4% as investors locked in profits following the latest increase in the stock price. Note that the company will be replacing Intel in the Dow Jones Industrial Average Index. Microsoft down 131.6 billion or 4.1% as the company announced lower than expected earnings growth for the remainder of the fiscal year. Apple down 120. 29.2 billion or 3.7% on weaker than expected quarterly results. Lily down 70.3 billion or 8.3% following an unexpected quarterly profit miss. Tesla is down 60.7 billion or 7.1% as investors took profits from the recent post's earnings rally. AMD is down 23.3 billion or 9.2% on a lower than expected revenue outlook for the rest of the year. Exxon is down 20.1 billion or 3. 8% on better than expected profits but came in short of last year's performance. Broadcom is down 19.1 billion or 2.4% on no specific news. Meta is down 15.4 billion or 1.1% as the company confirmed additional AI spending for the remainder of the year. Supermicro down 12.4 billion or an incredible 44.9% following the shocking resignation of their auditor Ernst Young. This week, there were no changes announced to the the S&P 500. Q3 2024 earnings season continues as more companies reported earnings, with 173 members releasing earnings last week and 161 companies now left to report. 95 S&P 500 members will release earnings during the week ending November 8, 2024, and the most interesting will be Berkshire Hathaway, Vertex Pharmaceuticals, and Palantir on November 4th, Gilead Sciences and Qualcomm on November 6th, and finally Aritza Networks on November 7th. Which company do you think will top the list next week and why? Let us know in the comments below and subscribe to our weekly updates. To find out why Tesla and Nvidia were up last week, you should watch this video next.